Boys, today we got a special video for you planned. Something you guys have been requesting for literal years. We went on Fiverr and I hired a professional Rainbow Six Siege coach to teach me all of the basics of Rainbow Six Siege. My plan is to go undercover, act like I'm a complete noob. I know nothing, I can't even think. I'm like a level 50 bot. He teaches me about the game, we play rank together, and then at the end of the video, I 1v1 him, and I actually, truly try, and I reveal myself as Jinxie at the very end of the video. If you guys want more high effort offline YouTube videos like this, click the like button, click the subscribe button, send it to your grandma. Let's go! So these are his stats. He's a level 356, and his highest rank is plat three. So I'm not, I'm a little concerned. 3,186 hours of playtime. If you can already frag out, I can absolutely help improve your game. And he only charges $10 for 30 minutes. His name is Gray Fox. And all right, let's book it. Let's, let's, let's improve at Rainbow Six Siege courtesy of Gray Fox. I think he's about to join. I'm like really nervous right now. Yo. Hello? Hey, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? Is this the, uh, Fiverr coach? Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. Well, I just made a new account, um, because, like, my other one got 30-day, like, banned, so I can't play ranked right now, but, um, this oh, account sh should be level 50 if you want to just help me out, because what do you feel are like your strong suits as a coach in terms of coaching um i'm still kind of learning you know i'm not gonna deny that i mean i have a little over eight thousand hours on the game i'm currently level 381 awesome i feel like the main thing i struggle with is not only awareness but crosshair placement as well it's just like for me i came from call of duty right so this is all new to me um yeah. And it's just, it's a, learn, it's a work in progress, I think. But yeah, if you could just guide me, even if we, you know, cause if we play for an hour, I think that could be a good hour. You're an experienced player and I just think that'd be awesome. Yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. Like I said, uh, you know, I don't, I don't try to point anyone in any particular direction. It's more of like, uh, yeah, you, know, you want to work on, you know, where you think you could improve and, uh, you know, I can do my best to help with that. Awesome, man. I've never paid for like a coaching session before. So whatever you want to start with, um, just let me know. I'm all ears here. Sure. Uh, well, I'm, I'm stop by the the game. So you said you're level uh, 381, right? Yep. How long you like been playing Siege for? Pretty much since it came out. So like since beta, sort of. Not, not exactly beta, but like directly after full game launch. Got it. Okay. Obviously, this is my first coaching session, so, like, what do you think we should start off with for the hour here? Well, again, I mean, and it, it doesn't have to be an exact hour, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a little bit generous with my time, uh, so don't worry too much about that. Realistically, you said that you want to work on uh, Tachanka and Mute, right? Yes, uh, Tachanka, mainly Mute, some Blitz action. <laughs> okay, um... I mean, mute's definitely an easy one. If you want to load up a, we can either do quick play or we can do just a custom. I actually had a. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll start a, a custom because you know there's going to be distractions and in quick play in ranked, there's going to be other players. You know, uh, opposite team. Okay. And we, you know, whatever we get, uh, whether it's you know, you want to defend first, attack first, doesn't matter. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Now, mute has some interesting, uh, some interesting abilities and counters. Like a lot of people don't know this, but. If there's a Takabi on the other team and she's calling your phone, it's the same idea. You walk into the mute jammer, that's gone. Yeah. Uh, same thing with Deimos, the new operator. R wait, really? It counters Deimos? Yep. And not only does it counter Deimos, it destroys that that chopper. So then he's out of that one. So he's really he's a hard counter to Deimos. Got it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because Deimos is a tough bugger. Yeah. Yeah. He he's definitely worse than jackal in my opinion um in terms of like facing because he, he doesn't need to find your footprints you know he can just up oh, i scanned you that's it yeah 100 percent. and um what do you feel like because you've probably done a lot of coaching sessions 
What do you feel is the number one problem you've noticed among new players or players that want coaching? What's like the most common thing you've noticed that held players back? It's uh, almost 100% map knowledge. Got it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, map knowledge, that's not something, you know, that uh, you can really teach per se. Uh, just because that, that's something that has to come with time. Yeah, I really just want to sink my teeth into this game here because I'm coming off like two, three years of being a hardcore COD player and just the toxicity over there and just I just don't like how mindless the game is. I'm more of a tactical shooter kind of guy, so that's really why I wanted to get on a coaching session here. But I'll run a Doka B here, just test that out. Sure. Who's yeah, your favorite? If you want to just meet me up in a... Um, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I'm a, uh, absolutely a flex player. Uh, I'm upstairs in a uh, main bedroom if you want to just... Got it, okay. Um, yeah, no, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll play Thermite, which is not as common as it used to be. Um, see, like, everyone wants to play Ace, and Ace is fine, but depending on, like, the map and, like, the location... I'm gonna stick to thermite just for the the, the bigger hole. The very good weapon, um, okay, you know. Yeah, uh, you're more of a. He's, um, he's also got smokes. Objective player for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll bring whoever whoever is necessary. I mean, depending on the site, like coastline. I'm a Cali main. Uh, Clubhouse. I'll also bring Cali. Um, you know, there are some maps. Uh, Rook. Rook is one of my favorite operators because he has the ability to help everyone on the team. With very little effort. Okay, so I guess a couple questions I have here is the one thing I really want to do is Shiko peeking. I saw it on TikTok, and I don't really know how to do it. So if you could help me with that. What's it called? Uh, Shiko peeking or quick peeking. It's like I'll try to emulate. It's kind of like that sort of. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. Well, when it, I, I I don't use that a huge amount, but I, I when I do, it's usually a good success. I uh, I assume you're a controller, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of them. That that's another problem in its own. When it comes to that kind of peeking, so I'll just take the lean, and actually, what I'll do is going back and forth like this is not really ergonomic for a controller, but if you actually spin your thumbstick. You'll move forward and back, and it'll be smoother. So kind of like this, sort of. Yeah, going left to right isn't the best. It, it, it You can make it work. But again, if you spin, just like counterclockwise to whatever angle you're trying to peek. Oh! Oh! It's a little bit smoother. I see. Yeah, that's smoother. Interesting. Okay, thanks, man. And uh, any yeah, tips yeah, for mute? Course. Like, any pro tips? So, I think the best thing with mute... That I, that I can try and help you with. Uh, do you have breach charges? I forget if they're on. Uh, I have Debbie. smokes right now. Okay, that's... Oh, yeah, all right. So, well, take kind of smokes there. The number one thing that I, I don't like is probably the most important thing. So you see... Actually, you can't see it, but... Let me put that other one down. Okay, so... Right there. Perfect. With Mute, his jammers are good. Again... But one of the problems here, you see that top bullet hole? Yep. That's as high as that is that area of effect is. Interesting. So Yeah. So there's a couple operators, you know, there's obviously Thatcher, there's Twitch. Twitch is an interesting one because you you're, you're kind of going back and forth with each other. You know, if she can get around the corner with her drone, well your jammer's gone. Yeah. Um my favorite counter. Yeah. See how you yeah, just, just close like that. that out just like that? That's really good. Yeah, didn't have to touch the phone, didn't have to do any of that. Um, is actually zero. Because, zero counters because of the, mute? Yeah, because of the area of effect, right? Even if that's like um, reinforced, right? If that wall is reinforced, he can still shoot his camera through the reinforced wall at the top and just aim down because it won't reach the camera. Couldn't they just shoot the zero, though, if they saw it? Or or sometimes it's... If sneak. they see it, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, a lot of times, you know, you're going to have four jammers. There's a good chance that you're not going to be able to watch every single one of them. 
Got it. Okay. You know, Interesting. Yeah, there's always like if you're trying to to, to play wall denial, this is something, uh, especially on this map, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Okay. If you want, uh, yeah, bring a uh, try try zero. Out if, if oh, you know, I uh, don't need. have him unlocked. I haven't purchased him yet. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Would you possibly be able to like carry me in ranked a little bit uh, after this game, just because I'm trying to. Maybe just get my feet wet yeah. in that department. I haven't played yet this oh, yeah, season yeah. on this account. Okay. Yeah, no, I can definitely try and help you there. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is uh, an interesting map for mute. Um, see, like, on this site, you know, a lot of people like to bring Cade or Kaid. I prefer Bandit over Mute or uh, Kaid on this one. And that's just because you have the ability to Bandit trick. I mean, if you do want to bring Mute on this, you know, again, like, nothing wrong with that. But what I would do is place one here. I'm sitting here pinging like you can see it. <laughs> yep, let me come down there and check it out. See, even like simple things, like I can't even see your footsteps when I walk by the mute jammer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he does counter, he has a lot of uh, interesting interactions with other ops. Um, on, for example, on this one, like, I have one here. Yep. And I have one up here. Now, this not only stops drones from coming down the stairs, but it gives, like, the wall itself a larger Zone. Uh, area of effect. Yep. Yeah. Because okay. it good. goes straight through the floor, no problem. Uh, another thing that I like to do on this map with Mute. Uh, do you have claymores? Do you have breaches? Smoke, uh, what smoke you got? grenades here. One of my favorites. Smokes? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with smoke grenades. So, this is a common run out. Right? Really? Yeah, people, if they're attacking the door, you know, and then... Because most people try to, you know, open up the uh, the basement door. The counter is a claymore right here. Which I do every single time. So, yeah, you're but if there go... was a claymore here, you would just die, right? Yes, but if you have a mute jammer, you can just throw it down right here. Oh! It'll disable the claymore, and then you can run out safely. Oh my god, that's smart. I never even thought about that. It's like a roaming mute Yeah, whenever I play of. mute... It... Exactly. I try to keep at least one in my pocket, you know, throw the, uh, throw the rest down, you know, wherever the site asks for. Dude, uh, that's do you use sick. the MP? Yeah, it's, it's useful. It's definitely, it's definitely useful, you know. Um, it's just a little bit more situational again, but, you know, it, it can buy either round. Yeah. I like using the um, MP5 or the shotgun. I'm very versatile with those. Okay, yeah. I mean, he's got the best shotgun in the game, debatably. Um, the MP5, you can't go wrong. It's, you know, high rate of fire, relatively low recoil. Uh, yeah, uh, one thing I will say about every single op, it doesn't matter who, really get used to the secondary weapons. Got it. Okay. You know, the SMG-11 is very high recoil. Yeah. But the thing is, you don't want to be stuck reloading your MP5, you know, say you're in a gunfight, okay, I'm out. Then you have to switch to your secondary, and you have no idea how it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I'm ready for ranked if you are, man. Yeah, we can give it a shot. Sweet. Sure. Let's do it, brother. All right. Thanks, thanks again for hopping on here, because I am just trying to learn Rainbow Six Siege. It's one of my favorite games. Dude, I got to level 50, like, so fast, because I was just playing casual, and I was loving it with my boys and stuff. That's another thing I was going to ask you. Do you have a, a a stack that you commonly play with? Yeah, so I friend I play with my friend uh, Tyler, and then I play with my other friend Derek. They're both copper and bronze, so we're all kind of just you know not great at the game. But we, I like kind of, I was in and out of bronze last season, but then like I said, I my account just like on an abandoned sanction, so I wanted to play on this account so I could play rank with you. But sure. But in the very beginning of the season is when you're gonna have your hardest matches and that's because you're playing with people that are normally gold platinum emerald uh, I, i've gotten paired up with champs and you know that's that's a, a nightmare but in its own so gray fox do you think we're gonna be in a higher rank on this game potentially yes what map do you think yes, we should ban because, by the way um i'm not a fan of outback but cafe is also pretty bad so i'm gonna go cafe okay Cafe is very defender decided. Okay, we ended up with that back anyway. I there, don't know. Actually, this I map. like this map. I don't really know okay. this one. 
I'm just gonna walk with you and just try to. Is that cool if I push with you and stuff? Yeah, no, that's fine. Sweet. Okay. So YouTube, I think the plan is I'm just gonna go like 0 and 7 this game, and then I'm gonna one v one him and just absolutely shit on him. Okay. And there is an outside wall. So on this game here, uh, if you want to play Thermite, I can play Thatcher, and we can just get walled together. That's what me and Derek like to do a lot. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, you know, that's that's the reason I was asking about who uh, who you play with. You know, knowing who they play as a lot. Yeah, right, I'm gonna get rid of the gate. Right. Uh, yeah, knowing who they play as a lot and knowing how to play off of their strengths and weaknesses is is big. For sure. Um, yep. I'm a big solo queue player, which is why I've become uh, a flex player. You know, I see who my teammates are picking and who it makes sense. You know, there's there's always the common ones. There's always an ace. There's always, you know, um, you don't see too many, like, willing rooks unless the game is going bad. But I'll play rook right off the bat. Just grabbed a Baja yeah, Blast a here for Mountain Dew. Nice. I'm ready to go, man. Okay, um, All right. class setup. Do you? What do you think I should rock on Thatcher? Uh, either uh, assault rifle is good. You really can't go wrong. Um, is ACOG good? Would you recommend ACOG for newer players or more of a holographic thing? <sighs> That's really, really personal preference. Um, I personally always take an ACOG uh, when available. I don't like the new, the altered 1.5 sight. That thing is. I, don't, I just think it's a little bit too thick, but if, you know, like the actual, uh, the reticle. But, I mean, if that's what you're comfortable with, that's really all it kind of comes down to. Yeah, man. Okay. So, you think comfort is just kind of, like, everything. It doesn't really matter as long as you're comfortable with it. Right, right, right. You know, I, I personally think that a higher magnification, you know, is going to be very useful. However, other people are, you know, they, they say that, like, the ACOG is too high magnification. But, I mean, going back to what you were talking about, about crosshair placement, in my opinion, that is more important than magnification. Because, I mean, if you are already aiming where you expect them to come from, well, then you really shouldn't have an issue when they do come from that way. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, yeah, I feel like that's just something I've struggled with is crosshair placement. Um, but I'm trying to work on that. Where do you want a hard breach from, Gray Fox? I'm right with you here. It's going to be right in the center. I'm just taking out the cameras. And always Whoa. take out the cameras. Okay. That's something that people don't do. Yep. I, honestly, I don't really do that, to be honest. Okay. I'm going to drop down here. Throw my yep. EMP for you. Should I roll out my drone here? Yeah, you, you definitely can. Uh, hopefully they don't swing. But there is, there is someone behind us. So we have to be aware of that. Okay. Um, would you recommend red pinging or yellow pinging? Because, oh, he's smoking the, there's a smoke on the, some yellow smoke on the breach. There's some yellow shit. Right, right. He's on the breach, um, I think, on the breach. Missed my shot there. So when it comes to red and yellow pinging, I know that's incredibly controversial. Personally, I have no problem red pinging. He's got a shotgun, so just be aware if you try and peek that. Okay. I'm, uh... There's somebody there. Yeah, I, got I, one. I was afraid they were going to come around from behind. Nice. Watch the window behind you. They are... It is open. Good stuff. Oh, no. That's what I meant by the crosshair placement! Franklin, I'm surprised you didn't take him. I got him! There you go. Nice job. Oh! No, I'm I'm sorry, Gray Fox. I didn't. No, you're good. You got two kills, man. That's more than. I... Yeah, what I what I was saying though about like red and uh, yellow pinging. Yellow pinging is better if you have a stack you're communicating with. But if you're playing with like random teammates that you don't know, you don't know how they play. In my opinion, red pinging is better. Let's nice go. Job. Yes. You cleaned up. Oh my god, dude, this... Okay, thank you. Okay, alright. That was actually a really good clutch by him, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, no, that was great. All right, you guys so carried that one for sure. So you think uh, red pinging is better if you're not really communicating, and yellow pinging is better if you are. I got it. Yep. 
And what about you? You you don't really have a five stack. You kind of just solo queue. For the most part, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I have no problem red pinging. You know, people will literally message me like, "Don't red ping." It's like, it 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 does not matter as much as people think it does. A lot of people play uh, style their their gameplay off of pro league, which isn't going to work for most players. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you watch the pro league games, those dudes are on a different level. Um, you know, and, and trying to emulate that, it just isn't going to work for most people. You know, like, uh, footholds are super common these days. Uh, what, is a, what is a foothold? So what people will do is usually use a shotgun or an impact, usually a shotgun, and they'll blow out the bottom of a wall so that they can see people walking by. Oh, okay. And, and why at the foot? Probably, why the foot? Why specifically that? The because low? that cuts off a uh, line of sight. You know, if you're making head holes, okay, fine. You know, but be ready to have an equal fight there. Gotcha. Okay. And what has drawn you towards Rainbow Six Siege, you think? Because you're such a high level um, and you've been playing for so long. What do you like about Rainbow Six Siege, mainly? Uh, definitely the one-shot headshot mechanic. You know what I mean? It's in terms of... You know, actual like gameplay. Uh, I would say it's the closest thing to realistic that you're gonna find on console. Uh, I played. I played a lot of COD too. You know, I was really. I played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I still play COD once in a while when this game gets frustrating because it definitely can get frustrating. So what are you doing um, here? What is this trap? Oh, okay, that's. So I'm just gonna fuse this. Ace is gonna open it up. We just have to watch these back windows again. Is most li more than likely, you know, somebody's gonna try and peek it. Okay, I'm not really sure what we should push here. I'm just gonna lay down, I think. What do you think we should do, Gray Fox? I'm gonna keep an eye on this window because uh, the decavi is not gonna be able to uh, do too much here. Is it coming? Right, going. Okay, I'm droning the objective here. I see a uh, Tachanka! Tachanka's on the A bomb there. Mm. I'm gonna shoot out my stuns. No! Oh! I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, brother. I assume he's probably behind the desk. Nice, Gray Fox. I'm gonna oh. watch that window that you were watching. I'm gonna check and see if anyone. We got a mirror here. Looks out here. Got a minute a on the uh, clock, by the way. Would you like me to watch that, that window? Anymore. I just got hit with the nitro cell. Our teammates. He's diffusing. Hopefully, he can get out that wall. Oh, he's gonna die. Yep. So yeah, I just don't really, I'm not really good at aiming. Here you go. Oh, behind you. They're on that window. Nice Got kill. One. Don't know what I should do here. What do you think, coach? Just listen. Listen for the diffuse and then swing it when you can. How many diffuses is it, by the way? I believe it's seven. I think you're golden. Yes! Yep. Oh my god! Dude, I just shit on that gut last guy. <laughs> That's what I mean with the Call of Duty. Sometimes I don't even like leaning, man. I just like aiming in. Right, yeah. The leaning, it'll just improve certain angles for you. Uh, that's that's another thing with COD, especially in uh, Warzone that I've noticed a little bit more recently that I struggle with, is knowing how much damage I'm actually outputting and like how much it's gonna take, you know? Yeah. That's the thing with sniping. It's like you'll get a headshot and you're, they're just downed. And so I'm like, do you think, all right, well now he's too far away. One more question. So I'm sorry if I'm asking you a lot of questions. I'm just- No, 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 that's, yeah. that's the whole point. You're just a way higher level, so. Um, do you think Glaze is good, the uh, sniper guy? Again, I do. Uh, just depending on um, the site more than anything. 
because his his sniper doesn't do a massive amount of damage. Again, any any gun in this game, you hit a headshot, that's it. The thing is, his rate of fire kind of makes up for that. But I've noticed, like a uh, coastline, for example, right? Again, I'll I'll, I'll start with Cali if they're in billards because nine out of ten times that's where they start. Um, but on penthouse, uh, the other second floor objective, I like I prefer Glaz because. Uh, they, they they tend to ego peek that window once you've opened mm, it. Okay, I got you. You know, and I mean, can you can you get that off with Cali? Yeah, but that objective is visually darker than Billard's for the most part. Um, and what is so it that with uh, infrared Rainbow? Helps. I've noticed this on Rainbow Succeeds primarily, but like for example, these guys have gone to the same objective three rounds in a row, and they keep losing it. Is that common? That's just uh, them being stubborn. Okay. I mean, realistically, you know, um, is it a good move? No. Yeah. I do but, like how you know where all the cameras are. That's like, <laughs> I'm learning these spots as we're going. Yeah, this one took me a little bit just because of the, uh, you know, it's new map. It's, that's pretty much it. See, like, I've already been spotted. Now they know that uh, I'm Thermite. Yeah. You know. And is that the end of the world? No. But I guarantee now that... Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. They they closed that wall up this time. I don't think we have any with the EMPs. No, I have the uh, claymores if that'll work on the wall. Nah, that is not going to help us there, but... Uh, one thing I could try and do on this site in particular is go underneath. I know there's a soft floor on that map, and I could shoot through and try and take out the, the bandit charges. I mean, it doesn't seem like we're going to need to because our team is doing excellent. I uh, got your uh, six here. All right. So bandit, he can only charge four items. We're in main lobby. All right, we're not even in need. Yeah, we're not even gonna. Oh. Oh, frost trap. It's all good. Uh, I did not expect there to be a frost bite there either, dude. No. I mean, I'm not doing great either right now, but... Well, yeah. I've always thought if we're winning, it doesn't really matter what anybody's KD is. You know what I mean? 100%. Like, that's I fully agree with that. For me, like, I... um. Also, what's the best objective here, Gray Fox, on this map? I'm, I've am i only played it, like, three times. So, generally speaking, we uh, you want to start with the top floor? And what op should I go here? Because I want to help you out as best as I can. So what do you think? If you want to bring mute, mute, mute's fine on this. Objective. Okay. Yep, that's my favorite hop. <laughs> so I'll play mute, no yeah. problem. Um, okay, cool. Is the SMG 11 good or the pistol on mute? I would always go SMG 11 just because you're looking at an insane rate of fire. Again, it has high recoil. But generally speaking, it's kind of going back to what I was saying when we were in the custom game. You want to get used to your secondary weapons just as much as your primaries. Okay. And uh, where do you think I should put my jammers at on this map? So I'm going to throw bandits up on this one. Okay. Uh, the other walls are going to be, you know, pretty major. If you want to throw them in the doorways and stop them from burning, I mean, chances are, you know, the, the drones are going to get in no matter what. Put one in this doorway uh, just there. Because... Yeah, so this the side of the objective is where I like to bend it. Just because this is exactly where we attacked. And this wall yep. on ping... This is the outside wall. Alright, I put one of my mute jammers here. Is that good or no? I would put it to the side, otherwise I can shoot it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does it still reach? You know. Oh, it does? Yeah, it should have a big enough radius, yeah. And then, uh, just All right, so let me know where I should guys the other ones. I'll, I'll try the side one on this door, too. And I could do one on here. Thanks again for coaching me, man. I do appreciate it. You've actually been yeah, very no knowledgeable. Yeah, another uh, issue I commonly see, and uh, we're, we're kind of experiencing it now. All right, yeah, they're getting ready to come in. They did open the sidewall, like I was I think afraid they, of. Um, wait, how did they get it? You put bandits on that. Thatcher. Drone on your feet here. Uh, he's on the, uh, breach, I think. 
Yeah, there's uh, an Osa there too. I got her shield. I didn't get her. She's got to be hurt though. Do you think I should throw my C4 out there or no? Uh, they actually have a Cali. You can try it. You can absolutely try it. Uh, miss input on that. In the objective! Gray Fox, I might need you, you over him. here. Are you? Oh, crap! Yeah, that was is still back. Uh, she's sitting behind her shield. We'll just play time on this one, otherwise she's gonna have a major advantage there. I hear yeah, some uh, noises shield. over here. Yep, that's Osa. That's her shield. Uh, left side of you. Left side of you. Where at? That doorway. Yep, that doorway. What it's I'm looking alley. at right there? She, okay. Yep, to, she's to the right of that door. But Osa's still behind you, so be careful. Right, I'll jump on camera to see what I can see. I think I heard him. He's on pink. I just saw her. Yep. Hard thing right now. No! Oh. Got sniped there. I think I may have yeah. pushed up too much. See, like right now, our other teammates can't hear us, so I have no problem hard pinging. Yep. See, if we get lucky, we get a kill right here. Oh. Yep. That was just because of your hard ping right there. Yep. Yep. Dude, so what a game. See exactly what a game. And, um,. If you'd like to, I feel like, uh, if you're comfortable, I feel like it'd be most beneficial if we, like, played ver Like, just, we did, like, a 1v1 or something after ranked, and I could just, like, learn from your strats and stuff. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sweet. Dude, I just got placed. Oh, my KD's never gonna be higher. Let me take a picture real quick. <laughs> Gotta take a picture so I can show Derek. He's gonna be so pissed. Alright, sweet. Okay back into it see me personally i am more of like a coastline fan uh what are, what do you think are like your favorite maps you think siege is interesting in that regard because like when i grew up playing halo right like uh blood gulch was the best map like hands down you know what i mean everyone that's the, the map everyone wanted everyone wanted to play with siege i have little favorites when it comes to actual maps um coastline is Probably one of the most enjoyable, but it's also one of the most difficult for attackers. Um, I do, I do like Coastline. I do like Clubhouse. Uh, realistically, I actually I don't mind Lair, the, the the map we just played. And what would you um, say is your favorite Lair. map? Like, if you had to pick one that stands alone as like your all-time favorite I had, map. I had to pick one. Ah, uh, probably. All time, uh, probably old school Hereford base, which you can't even play anymore, which is a shame. I never played that map. That was the. Actually, you might have played it. Um, I, I don't even know what training mode is like these days. But it was like the the first, the first map that you played when you first got the game. Again, I don't I don't even know if that's still the same because they've changed so many things. Um. But Hereford base itself is is okay, but the original is just iconic. It was so simple. It was so simple. There was like nothing really to it. It was uh, three floors. Only two of them were really playable. A lot of soft walls. Very very small map. Uh, and uh, what made Ubisoft decide to just like uh, vault it, sort of? Uh, it it just came with the the updating of maps you know there's been so many reworks like consulate consulate is a map i do not like i do not like consulate at all the old one was fine uh, it had its problems yeah. but you know when when they up they update a map you know generally speaking uh the prior version is no longer accessible uh, a good example of this right now is new consulate is you know that that's its, its map and then if you play the containment event, that's actually old consulate. Really? The contain oh, the containment yep. event. I played that that's with like the, it has the big hearts on it and you like punch them and stuff. I think I played that. Yep, 
That's exactly it. Okay, and one more question. In terms of class setup, do you think I should go with the pistol or the Johnny Six? And for my Claymore, should I go Hard Breach, Claymore, or Impact uh, EMP Grenade? Um, depending on where they are, it, it's going to be situational. The, the Gun Six is a single fire weapon. You can only use it one time. It's good for like utility destruction. Um, getting rid of, you know, uh, deployable shields, getting rid of castle walls, things like that. The pistol, Capitas pistol is decent. Um, so really it's kind of like whatever you want to do there. If you see more utility, I like to bring the LMG with uh, Capitao and I use the pistol, or no, the, the Gon 6. Um, and generally speaking, hard breaches. Okay, I'll bring the hard breaches. Um, and I'll rock the, uh, you said it's the Gon 6? The Gon 6 is good, yeah. yeah. Alright, see, what I'm about to do right here is super high risk, high reward on this map with the Maru. I could get into right sight almost immediately. Dude, like, I'm on site now. Do you need help, or...? When you get here. Nice, Gray Fox! See, with this strat in particular, I've actually aced. But again, there's a lot of times you're gonna get in there and just die immediately. In the bathtub, I think. I think he's in the bathtub. Okay. In, in the bathtub, I think, right next to me. Missed my shot. I think he's downed. Yeah, there's one down there, on the right hand Should side. Should I jump of the, in or? Yeah. There's two there, unfortunately. Uh, he's probably getting up. If you jump in now. Oh, I got the one. The other one is pretty much one shot. Sure, is this a good idea? Sure. It'll stop him from pushing you for now. Look out for captain traps, because there is a captain. Nice. If we have any good drones. Should I uh, drone, or what do you think here, coach? Uh, I would just keep your, keep your gun up. We have a decent drone on site. Okay, he's behind uh, piano. See, I'm on drone. I'm droning. He's right here. Our teammates take another fight with him. All right, he's circled. He's on site right here. All right, he killed the drone. He's to the right. Job. It's probably to your right. My right? Inside that room. Inside sight. I know, right and left doesn't really make much sense when it's 360. Oh, uh, don't know try. why I did that. That's. That was on me. I. Oh! So, what do you think I could have done better I mean, that, there? That... It's all right. I mean, hey, you know, it, it, it's 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 a game, man. Nobody's a hundred percent all the time. Thanks, man. Um, do you think I right, should so have just kept my gun out there, or was switching to the fire not a bad idea? Not a bad idea, depending on the op. Being that it was Doc, he can heal, so that kind of creates a problem where he's going to be more confident in swinging you. Interesting. But otherwise, right. you know, that was. That was fine. Okay. Got it. All right. Because I feel like uh, in terms of the gunfights, I'm not that bad because I did come from Call of Duty. It's just like I don't know when to use my ability and when to not use my ability. It's something I've just been struggling with a lot, and it's why I feel like I've been in the lower ranks. Capitao in particular has a very unique ability. Not necessarily one that I would count on in... Uh, close quarters event like that but let's say that he didn't want to push that angle you know he was 
Ooh, we have... They're in the basement. This is interesting. What operator um, should I go here, you think? Uh, we have a hard breach. Uh, Os is good. I mean, who are you, whoever you're really comfortable with. I can play with, the Thermite, man, um, if you'd like. Okay. I can play the Thermite. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I was told uh, to play, like, whenever you play Thermite, to bring the Diffuser, right? So, that's another thing I noticed, is that most people don't um, pick up the Diffuser at all, which is interesting, and I usually end up getting stuck with it. Uh, it will give it to the we enter in ice. Here or? Uh, no, 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 I'm just putting that uh, claymore. Yeah, yeah, take that uh, thermite back down. Is they're down here in the basement. Oh, okay. And this is why I play Callie, because she can destroy the electric. It's actually upstairs right now. Oh, it's like, I don't know where they have this. Hang on just a second, I'm gonna drone out really quick. I have a theory. I'm right. It's upstairs. Give me one second. There's a, uh, whatever, this is a contraption on the drone hold here. There's a contraption here. Right. Yeah, that's a, uh, a Goyo canister. I don't know why that didn't destroy it. Hang on a sec. Oh, wall's electric. Oh, you no, it's not. It shouldn't be, at least. Yeah, they had a good placement on that. Should I go for the plant here? I still don't know what this contraption is. That thing explodes. Okay. It. Uh, lesions on thing here. If you want to smoke and try and plant in that corner. Which corner here? On the right side, because they have somebody watching left. Try and carve you the best I can. Oh my god! Nice job. Alright, just back up. Just back up? Yep. One, like, absolute, like, uh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Alright, she's to the right, and there's one upstairs, so watch that window above you. you diffusing? Let's Good go, job. man! Dude, I just... Oh! oh. <laughs> Yo. Dude, oh my god, that was fun. Yo, this game is sick. Yeah, yeah, I, lo I love Siege, man. Dude, like, I don't know, man. When you plant, bro, it's like your heart starts pumping, dude. I don't even know how I got I know, I know. There. Oh boy. Okay, that was fun. Hey, good job, man. That was me and you, man. That was me and you. Yep. Um, I'm gonna try. If you're cool with it, I'm gonna play zero. I just purchased him. Yeah, sure. And if you have any pointers, just let me know. So zero, his uh his gadget can go through um reinforced walls. Okay, interesting. And so, yeah, so if you shoot through a reinforced wall, uh, you press A, it can you can look at both sides of that wall. Only one at one you know, one at one 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 direction at a time, of course. Uh, but generally speaking when I'm playing zero, I bring uh, hard breaches, gun six, use the SC twenty K, or I think it's a forty K in this game. Um, and when I shoot the... He, um, he can do it all. He really can just kind of do everything. When I shoot the camera, is it just a camera? Or is there stuff I can do with it? Like, you know what I'm saying? When I shoot... When I shoot the... Um, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Now, I do hope some of those claymores are upstairs. Yeah, I can hear you. I, okay. I, I had a feeling you cut out. Yep, my bad. My mic just cut out on me. Quick question with Zero. Uh, no when I shoot these little spider web things, is there anything I can like do with them? Yeah, so the camera does have uh, a laser on it, which is one of the reasons that he's a pretty big counter uh, to uh, mute, is he can shoot through the reinforced wall now there, that's muted. Now there's that right there, if you want to... 
What do you think we should do about that? Well, first I'm gonna grab our teammate. Oh, I just bought. Oh, it's a fire thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit like Tachanka, you know, good for uh, playing time and you know. So what do you think right, we so should do? So we do have do somebody here, watching. Coach. Yeah, we got something on the left side, for sure. Probably in that back hallway. Oh, I see somebody right here. Should I red ping him or yellow ping him? He's right here. Right here, right here. I, I see him. Too. He's hurt. I don't think he's down. Upstairs? Oh, that's you. That <laughs> he scared insane. me. Nah, you're good. Not really sure what we should do. I don't know what our play is here. I want to go for the plant. Oh! Got him. Alright, now that's 3v1, I'm gonna smoke out and we can definitely go for the plant. Let's go, Good man! Stuff. Dude, we're dominating, bro. I admit, that's a hard sight for them to try and hold. Yeah, I, I think it's like once we, you know, I'm learning just from playing with you that like once we break those walls, it gets really hard for them to hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So I was actually going to play um, Oryx here, if that's okay with you. I mean, you can play whoever you want, man. Okay. Um... Or I could also go Echo. Um, it's whatever you think is better, to be honest. I'm just trying to win. Realistically, this site is pretty pretty balanced. It's it's hard to kind of go wrong. Okay. I would say the only operators on this site to not bring is maybe Clash. Because there's so many different angles. Actually, let me put it right here. Now this is Rook Armor here. Thank you for that. Yep. So they've changed that a little bit. Uh, I would say somewhat recently. And I think it's one of the best changes that they've made. What did they change? If you get downed... <clears throat> sorry. If you get downed in Rook Armor now, you can self-revive. Really? You'll come back with only 20 health, but it'll keep you in the fight. And that way, you know... You don't have to worry about someone else trying to pick you up. Um, you know, again, headshots are always going to be headshots. You know, that's not going to change anything. But uh, it does buff your health a little bit. You know, they they change it from, you know, making you in ar this armor or that armor to you just have extra health now. And then self-res, which in my opinion was a great move. I'm going to roam out my Echo drone around here a little bit if that's cool. Go for it. Oh, uh, breaking down this window here. Breaking it down. I got someone on me too right now. I wonder if that was a guy. Oh, that's interesting. They team killed Ash right in front of me. He was actually shooting me. So they saved me, which is fantastic. They're oh, burning out. Oh. Yeah, there's, they're on the other side of this wall right here. Went for the wall bang. I, I just ran away. I didn't want to die there. See, another thing that, uh... Nice! Uh, there we go. Uh, people don't seem to really think about... I think that's a zero, actually. Just heard a, uh... thought I heard a camera. No, it's thermite. Um, is Team Morel. You know, they got that first win. They were like, okay, I feel pretty good. They went to the basement. They got destroyed twice in a row. Well, now they're not really trusting each other, and they're not feeling too confident about the match. So yeah. they're going to start playing worse. I've noticed you have a really good, like, morale, man. It's fun playing with you. Yeah, I, I try. And one of the things that I have going for me that um, a lot of newer Siege players nice job, don't have is uh, I don't necessarily care to... I mean, everyone wants to win. 
But for me, it's like I've played so many matches, so much time in the game, that's just like, alright, well, there's gonna be other ones, you know? Yeah. You're not, like, too stressed about... See, that's one of my problems. Like, the other night, like, we were we went on a losing streak, and I uninstalled the game. And it's like, I don't know, I had to reinstall, but it's like, you know, it's. I feel like if I learn how to lose more, it'll allow me to improve. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um... You know, and just kind of like, there's nothing better. Like I've had a handful of, you know, matches or yeah, matches where we've gone like zero and three, you know, and we're losing, and then we come back and end up winning it in overtime. Yeah, and that that's a great feeling, man. Yep, like just coming through that adversity and coming out on top. Yeah, I'm gonna play a Caviera and I'm gonna run to the third floor and try to like flank somebody. Good idea. Do you think Caviar is Gabby a good used operator? To be my, she used to be my main, actually. But they did slightly nerf her, and that was a bummer. Interesting. Okay. And how did they nerf her? What did they do to her? Uh, her pistol used to be the strongest gun in the game. Seriously? It, it used to do 99 damage per shot. 99? Yeah. Holy cow. What is it now? I think it's like 70 or 80, I forget off the top of my head. So you gotta, you know, you have to pick your shots a little bit harder, or a little bit, you know, more consistently. But, uh, I used to be able to, like, flank up behind someone, or like, two or three people, and just down all of them with a single kill. Yeah, so like, I'm gonna sit on this door, uh, the outside, the garage door. We do have a Cade. The thing is... Cade is countered by Thatcher, but Bandit will actually counter, uh, counter Thatcher by there. Ballsy with that. Yeah, if you if you get good at Bandit one. tricking, I got one with the Camaro. They are nice job. Oh, beautiful! You got the Intero. No man, I died to the Havana. Good try. Oh, he's in the stupid traps. Nope. Yep. Yeah, that's tough. That was tough. I saw that. Yeah, they didn't even bother with the door. Dude, I interrogated one of them and the other guy just came right on me there. Yeah, that's that's another thing about Cavi, is that their teammates are going to see that they're downed, and the second that you start interrogating, that icon goes away, but they can still see the outline of their teammate, and they oh. know that you're... See, you're, I didn't uh, even think about that. So wait, if, if I'm interrogating someone, they can see that? Yes. See, I didn't think about that. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense, yep. I'm just gonna play Legion. Another little... Anchor. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with Legion, man. Uh, especially with the, the rework. Where do you think I should throw my Legion Mines at, like, dur like during the round? Uh, anywhere where they might try to rush from, because they seem to want to be rushing. So where do you think? So, doorways. <laughs> and just like, uh, probably on the stairs. Uh, but just like the... The mute jammer? You don't want to put it like right in the middle. I see that all the time. Oh, don't put it right in the middle. No, no, because Legion Mines have an area of effect. So, much like the mute jammer, you don't want them it to be super uh, visible. Because even if they walk near it, it'll hit them now, which is a pretty cool change. Oh, and to comment on a uh, Cabby one more time, she has a secret interaction with another operator that a lot of people don't realize. While using her ability, Silent Step, if you're being tracked by Jackal and you use the ability, he can't track you. Ah, I see. He's a, she's a now. Hard what was the purpose of this? Our teammate did this. What is the purpose of this? That stops drones from coming through. Okay. So just like they had the explosive canister there last time, now we have that and. You know, there's nothing they can do there. Yeah, it seems like they're pushing from behind again. You think I should reinforce this wall? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, it might be a little too late now. Ooh, there's someone down there. He's all the way in garage. Yeah, he put me down. I knew it. I shouldn't have even taken that fight. That's my fault. Now you're good, man. 
pop our cameras for you guys. I really want to peek that. Looks scary as hell. Uh, I've got a feeling that's where they're all coming from. Uh, they have a nook. Probably what is in nook? back what hallway, is nook? if I had to guess. Oh, they're blowing up uh, my wall! She... Nook is a lot like Cabera uh, and Vigil combined. Yeah, I just saw the, uh... Go Distortion for a flank. on this, this camera what I here. Do in Call of Duty. Yeah, flanking's hands down like the number one strat, in my opinion. I have noise on ping. I'm going for the flank right okay, now. Okay, that's our teammate. Wh which direction is the flank? Where, where? Okay, so let me see where you're at. Um, I yeah yeah right there right there yeah. Got one. Nice job. Should I keep planking? I don't see why not. Yeah, go through kitchen, and you can get that back stairs. Where's the stairs at? Behind you. Turn around. Where at? Oh, oh, oh. I see. Right there. That's an air jab. Shoot that on your right. Where? That'll knock you down. In the doorway. Oh, that. Yep. Got him! Nice job. Yep. Fusion's all over your uh, diffuser. And now you guys can just play time, really. Should I break this or no, coach? Uh, I would use your shotgun. That impact might come in clutch. Wait for the diffuse. Is he defusing? Keep waiting, keep waiting. Oh! Nope. Oh! Perfect. Dude, let's go, With man! The mine. Another W, baby. Let's go! Look at that, MVP too. Good stuff, man. Dude, that's like my second highest skill game. All right, man, Um, if you want a 1v1, uh, what do you think is like the best map for a 1v1? Uh, we could... It really doesn't matter too much. Okay. Um, I see, like, Jinxie does, like, games on Oregon, so we could do that if you want. Yeah, we can do Oregon. Okay. Um, I don't have the set, like, 1v1 set up, so do you want to host it, or...? Yeah, sure, I can. Okay, well, how do I give you a uh, host here? Uh, I think if you press Y, and then you go to my name... You should have the ability to make party leader. Not something I do often. Oh, did it. Yep, right there. All right, sweet. Yeah, we could just play to, like, whatever score you want. Like, five or something. Yeah, sure. I feel so bad. This guy's so nice, dude. I'm going to fucking shit on him. All right, so this is the 1v1 setup here. Um, any, like, rules and regulations or? No, no. All right, man. I'm ready. I mean, to yeah. Go. All right, cool. Sweet, sweet. So, how many like coach, yeah, think... coaching have you done? Like, how many different people have uh, like had you coach them? You think you're actually the second, believe it or not. Um, really? I haven't really been on Fiverr too, too long. Uh, the one problem I do have, I very often have people that want to. Want me to, the, the last person I talked to, I actually denied them uh, because they just wanted me to play their account. No, no, that's that's corny, I think. I think you should just coach people, yeah. Secure the area. Bomb yeah, I mean, and that's, that's again, that's kind of like what it says in the um, info. It's like, you know, I'm not here to boost you. Like, yeah. you know, me and you, we played a couple games, but you pretty much carried both of those, man. Um, so that's, that's awesome. Uh, again, that's something, you know, I know there's the whole... I don't know. There's like this weird, toxic back and forth between COD players, and Siege players, for whatever reason. Um, but one thing I will never take away from a COD player is that nine out of ten times they have better gunplay. Yep, and that's how I feel like how I was getting a lot of kills was just that gunplay. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Where and that's that's again where I'm like, okay, if you guys are going to be the gunfighters, I'm going to be the utility support role. You know. 
I think a lot of COD players come to the game and, you know, they're just really not ready for, like, the, the one-shot headshot mechanic. And it throws them off pretty good. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, when I started Siege, I hated this game. Really? Yeah. It was just so difficult, because, again, I'd come from COD and I'd come from Halo. And I was just like, what is... like, what is this? And... Same thing with Battlefield 4, when that was big. You know, it's just uh, a whole different world. You're dead. Mission failed. All friendlies have been neutralized. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna climb up the hatch again. Wow, that was smart. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Maru's hands down one of my favorite ops on this map. Uh, but most places, most maps, she's, again, super high risk, high reward. You can either make it work or you're going to get smoked almost immediately. Okay, wow, you actually really did catch me off guard there. I did not think you were going to come up the hatch like that. Well played, brother. I can see why you're, like, a good coach. I appreciate that. Again, you know, there's only been a couple of people that I worked with. Um, the last guy was actually an emerald. So that was that had its own challenges. So he, you know, he knew his stuff already, and uh, he wanted to work with uh, who was it? Uh, Ram and Warden. Got it. Okay. And Ra Ram's an interesting character. I don't know that I like her that much yet, but I mean, just having that uh, R4C with the, you know, with the the higher zoom. I mean, Ash has got it now too, but yeah, no, I know, feel that. That's man. its own, yeah. I don't really know who Ram is, to be honest. Um, I don't think I have her unlocked. She's one of the newer ops. Um, she works a lot of, uh, what do you call it, vertical. That's her whole thing. She throws like this little mini tank, and it just destroys the floor in like a straight line. It makes a ton of noise, so it's good for like plants. Uh, <laughs> nice job. I wasn't ready for the swing. Yeah, I've caught you off guard there. Yep. So how uncomfortable is it if my coach gets 5-1? Alright, interesting. Okay, so now I'm catching the rhythm here. I, I'm getting the flow now. Yep. Um, me and, like, Derek, we 1v1 all the time, but you're definitely, you know, a much better than Derek, so I need to... Really focus here. All right, let's see, let's see. Yeah, no, I mean, every every player is going to have their, you know, specialties more or less. Um, you know, I would I'd like to say that at this point, mine has become just game knowledge. Yep. You're not. You part, you're I mean? like not much of a gunfight kind of guy. 
I mean, I can be. You know, I, I have my my on days, my off days for sure. Um, I would like I'd like to say that I'm at least consistent. I'm not gonna say yeah. I'm the best. You know, I've definitely seen you know some really crazy people. Um, but like uh, when I play with my wife, for example, you know, I have to change the way I'm playing. Yeah. Oh, your wife plays this game. Yep. That's dope, man. Yeah, man, it's definitely cool. Oh, what do I have that on? Oh. What is that contraption? This is a uh, Osa. That's uh, pretty much a clear bulletproof shield. So it works much like the deployable. You can just see through it. So it's bulletproof, huh? Yep. It can be placed in windows, doorways. It can give your team uh, pretty much a, a simple, uh, you know, almost like a like a blitz in a way, because it does still work while she's carrying it. One thing you can do to counter that shield, though, you can just punch it and it'll break. Down to 15 seconds. I thought you might be there. Ten seconds left. Nice job. Dude, that was a tough one. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I didn't know what you were gonna do. Yeah, I was trying to decide if I wanted to push through the window or side window or, you know, whatever. But no, you had that shotgun. I was not trying to get too close. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it, these are uh, basic ranked rules, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, um, who does your uh, who does your buddy play a lot? Uh, Derek. Yeah. He likes to play Jaeger, and um, his like main attacker is Dokabe. You really can't go wrong with either of those. Yeah, no, they're both good. I hear that uh, Jaeger's going to be getting his ACOG back, which is that, interesting. That would be interesting. I never really used Jaeger back when he had ACOG, so that would be cool. I think. He didn't even have recoil back then, so it was like a true nightmare. And uh, Bandit, Bandit also had ACOG back then. I see.
Yeah, man, I, I, I've definitely, I've seen all the uh, kind of broken operators over the years. Like, Ella used to be unstoppable. Blackbeard was an absolute menace when he had 800 health on his shield. Nice job. GG's, I should've GG's. waited. GG's, man. I heard you on the uh, flank there. Had to had to go for it. <laughs> yeah, sound cues are everything, man. Yes, sir. Yo, um... Gray Fox. What's up? Dude. That was, that was, like, really fun, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was actually a lot of fun. I'm glad you think so, man. Yep. And there's, uh... There's one thing I gotta tell you. Um... I'm uh, Jinxie, if you know who that is. I was just, like, trying to go undercover and do, like, a video with a Fiverr coach. And, bro, you were actually fucking amazing. Like, you were actually a good coach. Dude, that's... Are you serious? Yeah, no, I'm... I'm, uh... I mean, I, it's, I'm on, like, this account right now because I had to like, get an account for this because I didn't want you to, like, recognize me. But I was, like, deepening my voice and shit, and I was trying to, like, aim bad and stuff, so I didn't give it away. But yeah, no, man, I, uh, I've always wanted to do this video for YouTube. I could never do it on stream, but I've always wanted to do this video for YouTube. And dude, I hope you get like a hundred signups after this because like, bro, you were actually good as fuck. Yeah, I really, really appreciate that. That's crazy, man. Amazing to meet you. Yep. Hey, of course. Hey, it was amazing meeting you, bro. Um, I'll, this will be on YouTube in like a day or two, if that's cool with you, um, if it's cool to post. But, um, yeah, man. Absolutely. Of course. Sweet, brother. Dude, very wholesome guy. Um, you actually do know what you're talking about, too, bro. You know what you're talking about. I think a lot of the people that watch this video are going to learn shit. Um, and, dude, that was fun as fuck. I'm not going to lie. That's amazing, man. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Hey, have a great day, man. Hey, you too, bro. Thank you. What a fucking guy, bro. What a guy. An actual wholesome guy who actually wants to help people improve at the game. Dude. Deadass, bro. That was fun. Um, shout out to Coconut Bra for this idea. Coconut Bra is like the reason why I got this idea. Um, and yeah, man, this is something we could never do on stream. It's an off stream thing only. Because if we did it on stream, people would just message him. But shout out to Gray Fox, W Coach. Um, that's like an hour long video, bro. I had fun the whole way through. YouTube, if you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button, click the like button. We post bangers every day, man. And I'm out this bitch.